on a winter's night, but it didn't. It didn't? <laughs> no. It happened on a winter's day. And because it was a winter's day, you might think it was cold, but it wasn't. It wasn't? No. It was as warm as spring. Everywhere you looked, winter was leaving. Now, you might think everyone would be happy, but they weren't. Oh. Town. People were sorry to see winter leave so soon. I barely get these wonderful winter fashions designed and then displayed. And no one's even tried or, or barely seen or tried them on. And now I have to take them all down. Hi, hi raspberry. raspberry. Oh, hi. Uh, did you come to buy some wonderful winter fashions? Well, we were looking for something a little more... springy. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Well, I better get busy designing my spring line. And all over town, that's how it was. The early spring caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Bailey, you said your story was about winter. And it is. How can it be winter when it's warm? <laughs> well, you'll just have to be patient and see what happens. And so it was that lots of folks were sad to see winter turn warm. Lots of folks, but not everyone. Here you go. Hot chocolate? We should have ordered lemonade. Yeah, ice cold lemonade. Haven't you noticed the heat outside? <laughs> What's so wrong with an early spring? Everything. My store is overstocked with fruitcake, chestnuts, and marshmallows. I barely got to show off the new knit hat and matching scarf and mittens the raspberry made for me. The snow melted before I ever got a chance to go sledding, or build a snowman, or play my favorite winter game, Capture the Snowman's Nose. Oh, yeah! Oh, snowman's Nose! I really love that game. You know... We might not be able to wear our mittens until next winter, but we could play Capture the Snowman's Nose now! And to do that, we'd need snowmen. Exactly. And to do that, we'd need it to snow. <laughs> not necessarily. So, all you gotta do is keep the juicerating confabulator turned on, keep this dial pointing here, flip on the freezelator like so, and presto! Instant snow! Thank you, Barricade Bruce. This is great! <laughs> well, let's build our snowman.
off the other team's snowman and brings it back to their snowman, scores a point. Ready, set, wait! I just realized our teams are uneven. Our team has four, you guys only have three. Hey, yeah, you're right. Well, uh, I guess I could referee. for me to make all the decisions about what's fair for everybody else. And in Berry Bitty City, everybody's opinions get to be heard. So, what do you think the rules should be? Oh, I don't well, know. I haven't uh, thought of any. Barricade Bloom? Uh, what if the rule was simply anything that's fun? Yeah! yeah. Very good. Should we put it to a vote? Yeah! All in favor of the only rule being anything that's fun, say aye. Aye! All opposed, say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. The rule is passed. Excuse me, but can they do that? No rule against it. 
work a little better if we mix up the teams. Yeah! Blueberry, Plum, and Cherry, you guys form a team with three berrykins on this side. And the other three berrykins can form a team with raspberry, orange, and lemon. Now, each team will have the same advantages. Oh, no! Look! Uh-oh. It's melting! Quick, get some more snow! Do something! Oh, there it goes. Oh, no! I'm sorry, Strawberry. It's just too warm. The snowmaking machine can't keep it cool. Thanks for trying, Berrykin Bruce. Aw. Well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww. Aww. Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowman out of something other than snow? Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? <laughs> mashed potatoes! <laughs> that's it! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I'm not! <laughs> it could work! Come on, everybody! Like winter. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put away my winter fashions. Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. Meanwhile, hot chocolate for everyone at the cafe. <laughs> all their carrots had mysteriously disappeared. Well, this snowman's carrots are gone, too. And, and we used most of the carrots we saved in the winter storehouse for playing the game. <sighs> and it looks like winter is coming back. Aha! Gotcha! I know who our thieves are. Light on their feet, but not light enough Little do they know, I've read all 120 Patty Persimmon Girl Detective novels. Or is it 130? And I can say conclusively, without a shadow of a doubt, that the culprits are absolutely, positively... Squirrels. Yes! Uh, huh? Yep, squirrel tracks. Three sets of them, it looks like. That is absolutely... correct. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Squirrels can get very hungry. And three of them are three times as hungry. What if our carrots aren't enough for them? You mean, if they started eating the rest of our food? Yes. The crops we've stocked up in case it's a bad winter. Oh, it's not going to be a bad winter. I mean, it didn't look bad yesterday. Looks like a blizzard might be brewing. Well, in that case, Shouldn't we try to leave something out for them? You know, share what we have. But if the winter gets really bad, what we have might not even be enough for us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah
I'm with Barry Can Bloom. If a big blizzard hits, our berry bitty gardens and orchards would be buried. All we'd have to eat until spring would be frozen berrysicles. I think I'm with Strawberry. Shouldn't we share? Oh, I really oh, think we should. That's a Sharing idea. is what we should do. Oh, well, no, not if I we don't agree at all. Way. Because no. we can run out. We have yes, to. Oh, since this is really important and everyone in town will have an opinion, I think we should vote. Well, all right. right. I I yes. I I this vote is for yes. And the last vote is for no. So, on the question of should we share our stores of winter food with the squirrels and other animals, the vote is... a tie! The number of yes votes and no votes are the same. Oh. 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 What do we do? Yeah. Well, one, two. Did everyone vote? Uh, I did. Did. Good. Wait, did you vote? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was so busy taking care of this, I forgot to. <laughs> um, well, no matter which way I vote, some of you are going to be happy. And others, well, maybe not so happy. We've all talked about it. What's the best thing to do for all of us? For the whole town. We've gone over the weather predictions. We've added up how much food we have for the winter. And we've talked about, is it a good idea to give away some of what we have? When we don't really know how long the winter will last. Like all of you, I... I can only vote what I think. And what I feel. So on the question of should we share our stores of winter food, my vote is yes. And if a storm comes and we run out of food, they'll never forgive me. Everybody in Berry Bitty City loves you. You had a right to vote for what you believed was best. You weren't the only one who voted to share our food. But I was the tiebreaker. Oh, don't worry, Strawberry. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> it looks like some barricades. Oh, maybe they've come to tell me what they think of me. Well, I better face them. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, we've talked about it, and we've decided that you've been such a patient referee and leader, Strawberry. You respect all our different points of view, and so we'd like to ask you to be in charge of managing the rest of Berry Bitty City's food stores this winter. We think, well, we think it would be the best thing for all of us, for the whole town. Yes, I agree. Yes. That's a great idea. Yes. Thank you. Well, why don't we meet here in the morning, and we'll make a plan. All right, yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great idea. After we figure out the food situation, can we still play capture the snowman's nose? Well, I don't see why. I see. I see. <gasps> Look! were eaten. You weren't hungry? Then why? You wanted to play capture the snowman's nose? <laughs> well then!
winter continued. Inside, everything was warm and cozy. But outside, it was... Ooh, ooh, ooh. A question? Did you really like the story your whole self, Booberry? <laughs> yes, I really wrote it all by myself. I like it. <laughs> Why, thank you. You're welcome, Booberry. Where was I? Oh, yes. Inside, everything was warm and cozy. But outside, it wasn't cozy at all. All the roads around Berry Bitty City were covered in ice. And a cold wind was blowing. Oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. This is really too much. Bumblebee, there you are. We thought we'd lost you. I, uh, <laughs> I thought I'd lost me too. <laughs> and I almost lost the mail in that wind. Oh, that's it. I'm restricting all deliveries until this windstorm dies down. Hi, honey, chocolate for all our brave postal bees. <laughs> oh, <laughs> chocolate. We'll just stay cozy in here. I've heard it's going to get worse. A person would have to be really misguided to go out in weather like that. <gasps> Booberry! Anything in the mail for me? Has it arrived? Is it here? Where is it? Sorry, Blueberry. All postal service is suspended due to the windstorm. The roads are iced over due to the frost, so no mail truck deliveries either. Oh. Here. What were you expecting, Blueberry? Oh, the next segment of the latest Patty Persimmon mystery. The case of the missing mangoes? <laughs> that was last month. This one is called Tennis Caper, anyone? Someone is cutting holes in the Toadstool Tennis Club's rackets and sabotaging the tennis tournament. I simply have to find out who's doing it and why they're doing it. It's outrageous! <laughs> Well, that's an intriguing riddle, <laughs> but I'm afraid you'll have to wait to find out who done it. Your package must be stuck at the branch in Barry Bitty Dale. Oh, I can't stand it. Refill? <sighs> no, thank you, Orange. I better get home before this wind gets worse. Well, be careful out there. I will. Blueberry is usually a very patient, even-tempered person. But if there is anything she is not patient about, it's getting to the bottom of a mystery. Bosley Bookworm, are you all right? Are you... Where are you? Caught in some sort of net. Net? Uh, um, Blueberry? <gasps> The door, the wind blew, and uh, oh, I'm sorry, Blueberry. I think I've wrecked your racket. Oh, don't worry. This is a really old tennis racket. I was going to throw it away, but I kept thinking I might find something useful to do with it. Oh, if only it could somehow get me to Berry Bitty Dale. My Patty Persimmon is stuck there at the main post office. The butterfly bus is grounded, and, and... Oh, that racket won't help you. What you need are some ice skates. I heard the roads were frozen over. I don't have any ice skates, but maybe I could make some. Oh, but even if those work, Berry Bitty Dale is a long way to ice skate. Hmm. What is it, Custard? <gasps> yeah! oh! That looked like... a... Uh, no. It couldn't have been. Could it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Those are amazing! Did you get it? I am happy to report success! A Patty 
Persimmon Mystery. Tennis caper, anyone? Part three. <sighs> oh, who could that be? Hi, Blueberry. Where are they? Let me see them. Where'd you get them? <laughs> You're flying ice boots! Flying ice boots? I saw you fly down the road a couple of hours ago. It was great! <laughs> Where'd you get those things? These? I made them out of an old tennis racket. I call them Icy Skites. Icy, icy Skites? skites? <laughs> yeah, like skating on ice skates and flying a kite. Icy Skites. Oh, yeah! I like I get it! <laughs> so inventive! Can you make me a pair with a butterfly, too? Oh, me too! Oh, I like Sonny! Oh, yeah. yeah, great! Well, uh, sure, I guess. Um, I'll need some old tennis rackets and some butterflies and... Hmm... Oh, oh yeah, I that! I think I'm back in We're on it! <laughs> what you might be good at until you try. Well, now that everyone in Berry Bitty City has a set of icy skites, I can get back to my mystery novel. Now, where was I? Oh, yes. About to see who's sabotaging the tennis tournament. I wonder if it's the ball boy. Oh! Oh, I lost my place. Hello? Blueberry's Bookshop, Blueberry Muffin speaking. Miss Muffin? This is Ladybug Lois of Berry Bitty Dale Berry Sporty Sports Store. My, my, has it ever been a mystery tracking you down. At least one mystery was solved. I finally mentioned to our postmaster that I saw you fly by on those incredibly wonderful magical skate boots of yours. My skates? Er, uh, icy skates? <sighs> well, how can I help you, Lois? Well, I have an idea that you just might find. Very interesting. I'm interested already. Is it a book order? An entirely different type of order altogether. The sporting goods store in Berry Bitty Dale wants to manufacture and sell my icy skites. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? But that's not all. They want me to design a matching outfit to go with the Icy Skites. Well, that's wonderful too, isn't it? But that's not all. They want me to make a commercial for their store website with a jingle and a dance. Is all that wonderful? It, uh, I don't know. I can write a commercial, but Design clothes? Make a video? Write music? I don't know if I'm good at those things. Well, you won't know if you're good at those things unless you try. And you could always ask for help. That's true. I just... I think it would be so much fun. Then what's to stop you? Icy Skite on. And so, Blueberry decided that she'd give it a try. Some icy skites. Can you make me some? Yeah, I want them. I want them. Blueberry, did you make the commercial, Blueberry? 
<laughs> if you will all please settle down, we'll find out. So, Blueberry asked her friends for help. She asked Raspberry for advice on fashion design because Raspberry was an expert. I like the colors, but I was thinking something more like this. Hmm. Well, I think for your Icy Skite outfit, this might be better. Well, thank you, Raspberry. I'll think it over. That was a very lovely dance you made up. So, you're all set then? Well, I'm gonna think about it. I might want to do something a little, um, sportier? Huh. Well, I think what they're probably looking for is a more classic figure skating ballet dance. Mm, you may be right. I'll think it over. But all your tips about moving to the music and planning the moves ahead of time really helped. What about this? Very glamorous, Lemon. Or did you like my spiky design better? I like them both. I know, they're both my favorite, too. Oh, I forgot about Plum's choreography. She said you're going with the classic ballet theme? I am? So maybe we should do a ballet bun. Do you mind if I think this all over? I love all your ideas, but I may want to go in a different direction. I bet you'll go with the ballet bun! Or maybe the spikes? I'll let you know. But thank you so much for all your help, Lemon. I never would have known how to get my hair into any style without your guidance. Ah! Anything there you like? Oh, girls, that was a beautiful melody. Raspberry told us you're going with a classic ballet theme. Well, no. I actually hadn't decided yet what I'm going with for my commercial. Oh, so are you still working it out? Well... Oh, I forgot my lyric pages. Be right back. Are you worried about something, Blueberry? Oh, Strawberry. Everyone helped show me how to do some of the things they're really good at. And they all have lots of ideas for me. But I'm kind of having fun thinking up some ideas on my own. Then you should. <laughs> Everyone will understand. Are you sure? You don't think they'll mind if I go my own direction? Of course they won't mind. And so I designed this very big, fabulously flowing gown for her commercial, and she isn't going to use it. Well, I choreographed a very graceful ice and butterfly dance that she isn't using either. But you are the dance expert, Plum, and you, Raspberry, are the fashion expert. It just doesn't make sense that she wouldn't be using your ideas. She should stick to what she does best, writing. What if her commercial is an embarrassment? We wouldn't want that to happen to her. What if Berry Bitty Dale Sporty Sports Store doesn't like the commercial, and then they wouldn't want her icy skites, and then... <coughs> oh, uh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. Hello. Have you been helping Blueberry with her commercial? Well, she did ask for help, or advice, or, you know, but it doesn't seem like she needs our help after all. It seems like she's gonna do the whole thing by herself, with her own ideas. But uh, that's okay, right? I mean, just because you're all good at something doesn't mean Blueberry can't be good at it too. Well, it is her commercial. <laughs> it's nice that she asked for help, and nice that we helped her, but that doesn't mean she has to do what we all think. No. That's true. Well, I hope it turns out okay. However it turns out, I think we should give her our support. Okay, and action! Woo! Wait, this is some great action footage. This is good, keep going! Here's my jingle. I know it's not exactly what you girls had in mind, but I think it goes better with the action sports feel of the commercial. Um, what tune do we play this to? Well, I don't know how to write notes like Cherry. I can only hum what I had in mind. That's okay. Why don't you hum the melody and I'll write down the notes? <laughs> That'll work. Good 
idea, Cherry. before, you know, it gets out there. We'll help her redo it. Evening, girls. Oh, I can't wait to see the commercial. I'm in it. Can you believe it, girls? J.D. Bug from the post office is gonna be a star. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming to see a pre-screening of my Icy Skites commercial. I hope you like it. I got a lot of help from my friends on this, so I want to tell you all how grateful I am. My commercial wouldn't have been possible without my friend's expert know-how. But she didn't use her ideas. Shh. Okay. Well, here goes. Barak and Bruce, could you please start the film? Wanna get from here to there? Mystery once and for all. <laughs> There's yours. Now, now, don't crowd. There's plenty for everyone. Blueberry, they're selling like hotcakes. The hottest item I've had since blue in the dark croquet balls. That's fantastic. I'm so glad the commercial worked out. Is this the book we're reading for the next book club? Mm hmm. How come it doesn't have a cover? Galloping Gooseberries! The Long Winter Mystery by Blueberry Muffin? Really? You wrote a whole mystery book? It's a work in progress. I was so disappointed that I guessed the culprit so early on in my Patty Persimmon mystery, it was the ball boy all along, that I thought 
I could write a better mystery than this. So, I was wondering if you could do me a favor and read it and help me make improvements? You want us to help you with writing? But, but, <laughs> but you're the best, Blueberry. I mean, you're the expert. But you're all good writers, too. And readers. So your opinions would be very valuable to me. Oh, of course we'll tell you what we think. Oh, look! You dedicated your book to us, Blueberry. Thank you, Blueberry! <laughs> did you really write a mystery, Blueberry? I did. But it's a little scary, so you'll have to read it when you're older. Do you think I could write a mystery, Blueberry? The only way to find out is to try. Good morning, Postmaster. Oh, getting ready for your vacation, I see. Oh, feel the chill in that breeze. Yeah, not much summer left. We're trying to get going before it's over. Oh, I nearly forgot. Do you have anything for me today? Well, 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 well. <laughs> what have we here? <laughs> Now, that's either six dozen dried kidney beans, or... The maracas I ordered last week! Thank you, Postmaster! These are for our trip. When we get to Berry Breezy Bay Resort, they're gonna know we arrived! <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> well, have a wonderful trip, Ms. Pudding! Could it be that I'm forgetting? <laughs> Could it be this? <laughs> Delivery from Happy Pappy Snapapple Farm. Perfect! <laughs> Thank you. Now I can finish my snappy apple apple snacks. Would you like some? Oh, they're very good. Nope, can't. I'm on that new buttercup diet. <laughs> well, happy vacation. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like I'm there. <laughs> We're not there yet. We will be tomorrow. It's all I can think about. All I want to do is dance and dance. Oh, I can't wait to move into our perfect peach pink palace. <gasps> what do you think? I love it! And I'll be surfing those perfect azure wings. And me? I'm gonna be sunbathing under their perfect rows of coconut palms. And I am just gonna wanna sing. Put me on the berry breeze, an island waits for me. A tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all roll. that I made. Whoa, look at you. I've hardly started packing and already I've forgotten more than I can remember. Well, like I always say, you can never be too organized. I mean, what if we got all the way to Berry Breezy Bay Resort and forget something really important? Good point. Um, you wouldn't happen to have a copy of your checklist that I could borrow, would you? Just so happens that the first item on my list was to make copies of the list for everybody. That's so Jeez, very <laughs> nice. Here you go. Orange's official list of everything we need to bring. 
I even made a list of all the lists I made. Organization! That's the key to a happy vacation. Well, we better get busy. We've got a big day tomorrow. See you later. Better hurry. Everybody ready to go? Everybody check and double check their lists? Yep. There's nothing to do now but wait for the butterfly bus. According to the schedule, it should be here. Punctuality. That's the key to a happy vacation. <sighs> I think I'll practice napping on the beach. I think I'll practice my nifty new surf move. It's called... <sighs> the snooze. <laughs> <laughs> Just arrived. Oh, it's from the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. We are happy that you will be visiting us <laughs> next year. What are these hotels are? from now? We regret to inform you the resort has been closed early due to very, very breezy weather. It must be a joke. But look, there's more. This is no joke. Sorry. I had my heart set on Berry Breezy Bay. I could almost feel that peach pink sand between my toes. <sighs> oh, oh, maybe we could go to the mountains instead. Except it's kind of breezier there. Uh, there must be other resorts. Yes, I'll start researching them. Oh, great idea. I bet we can find something just like Berry Breezy Bay. Um, I'm afraid that won't work. Summer is just about over. There's no time to plan a whole new trip. Yep. True. Yeah. <sighs> there aren't going to be any sand castles in the peach pink sand. No surfing those perfect azure waves. And no sunbathing under the perfect rows of coconut palms. But why not? Why not? Because the whole island is closed. Who says we have to go to the island? What are we gonna do? Bring the island here? Yep. Yeah, right. <laughs> if we can't go to the island, why don't we bring the island here? Do you know what she's talking about? Mm hmm. More or less. Mostly less. Here, let me show you. I'll build us a perfect copy of Berry Breezy Bay Resort with a beach and palms and sand castles. But where? Right here, on the shore of Berry Bitty Lake. It'll be like we're really there. But it'll be our own place, a place where everyone in Berry Bitty City can vacation. Someday, we could even have guests, just like a real resort. I don't know, Orange. Do you think it's a bit ambitious? <laughs> yeah, it's maybe just a little itsy-bitsy bit impractical, if not undoable. Sure, it's ambitious, impractical, undoable, and downright impossible. That's why I'm the one to make it happen. Just gonna take some good old-fashioned hard work. Or sun, shine, crafts, do-do-do-do-do-do. Do you really think she can pull this off? It's going to be a whole lot of work. Maybe she's bitten off more than she can chew. I sure don't want her to be disappointed. Maybe she really can make it happen if we help her. What do you say, girls? We yeah, can let's do it, it together. Come on, guys. Let's get going. Can we help you, Orange? Well, let's see. Oh, why, yes, yes, you can. Lemon, 
You help Eric and Bloom with palms. Blueberry, we need chairs over there. Plum, strawberry, we need a tropical menu. Raspberry, you work with Eric and Bill on the sand. Cherry, you start learning. Eve, come! Eve, come! One down, 2,000 loads to go. Hmm. This is more red than peach pink. Berry Breezy Bay is famous for its peach pink sand. See? What if we try adding some pink grapefruit juice to it? That might make it pinker. Good thinking, Strawberry. You and Lemon can... <gasps> oh, no. Uh, no, 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 Cherry! The chairs go over here. Not too bad, I think, if I do say so myself. Not bad, but not perfect. It has to look exactly like the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel. They are famous for their exact replica sandcastle. Here, like this. But how do I... I mean, how can I... It's no big deal. All you have to do is tear this down and start all over. That's perfect! Just the right size for transplanting our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms. Um, where are our Berry Bitty Coconut Palms? Coming right up! I don't know how bitty they are, though. My Berry Bitty plant food is having a bit of trouble trying to bitty ice these big boys. How much trouble? Uh, let's just say they're smaller than big, but bigger than bitty. Uh, which could be good, depending. Depending on what? On how much shade you want. Let's bring one of them out! The smallest one, please! Maybe a little bit too much shade? I agree. Just another day or so, and I'll be able to grow them to very bitty size. All right, send it back to the nursery! <laughs> You want to have a look at this? Sure, Raspberry. Um, where is it? Oh, it, um, <laughs> uh, hmm. I, I could have sworn, but I, huh. Maybe we should try some lemonade. Well, that's very pretty. Oh, but it sure is starting to smell awful. Oh, no, 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 that's not it. It has to be exactly like the sand at Berry Breezy Bay. Or we won't be able to call this Berry Breezy Bay Resort. Okay, team, let's try the wind machine. No, no, I can barely feel that. I want it to be a very big breeze. Try it again. Put a little more oomph into it. your very best. But it was a very big project. Hmm? What were you saying? The resort? All that work? Blown away? Remember? I figured out the problem. My first sketch was just plain wrong. I downloaded the plans for Berry Breezy Bay from the internet. Now I can make it exactly like the real thing. Of course, we're going to have to work really, really hard to build this. Teamwork. That's the key. Meet me in five minutes and I'll hand out your new assignments. She can't be serious. We can't build something like that. There's no way. She's just setting herself up for another disappointment. 
I'll go talk with her. Nineteen. And twenty. Orange. Hi, Strawberry. Glad you came. You can help me start digging the foundation for the hotel. Cherry can help mix cement. Plum can put in the plumbing. Raspberry's got the window shades and wallpaper. Lemon can lay the floor. I'll do the roof. And Blueberry can... Blueberry can... Hey, where are Cherry and Plum and Raspberry and Lemon and Blueberry? We're on a tight schedule. They're, uh... Not coming. Why not? <gasps> What's wrong? Well, I think maybe you have the wrong blueprints. I do? <gasps> oh, no! <sighs> oh, for a minute there, I thought I'd made a mistake or something. Nope, these are the plans, all right. The plans they used to build the real resort. See? Every detail is exactly, precisely the same as on Berry Breezy Island. The beach, the hotel, the chairs, the palms. But what about these? Oh, <laughs> those aren't any good. Oh, I think they are. Oh, come on. Just look. The details are all off. See that beach? Way too small. And the chairs? They're in the wrong place. And don't you think this is the most important detail? Huh? What detail? This. Right here. That's us having fun, having a great vacation together. Isn't that what matters most? Well, but... Wouldn't it be more fun with a big pink beach like this? And real palm trees like these? And... Um, I think what makes it fun is us being together. Having fun. Yeah. Come to think of it, I haven't been much fun. I guess I've been kind of bossy. We don't want to give up on helping you with your dream, but... You know, maybe we don't need a big pink beach. Maybe we don't need palm trees. What if we build a tropical paradise that's just right for us? <laughs> that sounds like a very good idea, Orange. And what if I try to have more fun building it? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. And Raspberry, build any kind of sandcastle you want. Just have fun doing it. <laughs> Oh, I have so many this is ideas. Be great. Come on, let's get going. exact shade of pink. Maybe the coconuts aren't in perfect rows, but mm, they taste great in these pies. Who needs the Berry Breezy Bay Hotel when we have beach bungalows just right for us? Maybe it isn't exactly like that other place, but this is better because we built it together. Orange, will you do the honors? I'd be happy to. My friends, tomorrow our vacation begins! Welcome to our very own Berry Pity Resort! <laughs> Beyond the Berry Breeze, an island waits for me. Tropical paradise with blue skies. It's better than a dream to dance by the sea, watching the waves all rolling.
travel chill out in style there's so much to explore down on the ocean floor dive in and swim around for a while come on girls let's have some fun let's dance all day under the sun because we're sunshine girls tap your feet to the beat now sunshine girls jump up move to the groove yeah. sway to the left Pretty good, don't you think? It's paradise, Orange. <laughs> Our very own tropical paradise. Because we're together, being with friends. That's the key. Yeah! <laughs> hey, look, everybody! Surf's up! We're 